Hey, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And Robbie, you know, I like things to disappear. Like the feeling of sweat against my feet when I'm running. You like this, you like that feeling to disappear? I like it to, I like the sweat oh. to disappear. Okay. What could I do to help me with that? Oh, uh, well, we are talking about a shoe called the Vanish today. So That's kind of, why I brought it okay. up. <laughs> so it kind of works out that uh, something that helps you with wicking sweat is Bomba socks. We've been wearing them this summer. High performance, high quality, high cush, all the things. Um, Look for the B. Yeah. Bees, 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 bees. We should get it. Well, Meg's getting a beekeeper suit. She is. Right. Anyways, but you can save 20% uh, off your first order with code BRTR20. We have links in the description. And uh, just put that code in at checkout. You got yourself a deal. We like the socks. Yeah, and by the way, Bombas does give a pair of socks to someone in need every time you buy a pair of socks so you're feeling good while you're buying. So it's like you're getting two pairs of socks, just one you're giving to a friend. Yeah. All right, cool. Or another human being. Yeah, you're like us. Being. Being. So you just worked that in there. I did, all right. All right. Hey, let's, let's, let's disappear from this promo and get into why we're really here. The Ultra Vanish Tempo. Mm -hmm. Don't get that confused with the Ultra Vanish Carbon. I wore this guy. Okay. I got into it. You can watch that review, hear all about the shoe. It's almost an ounce lighter than the Tempo, and the Tempo loses the plate. Yeah, so this had a carbon plate in it, and it was their first attempt at like a real race day shoe, I would say. And Ultra was really the last brand to come to the market with a carbon plate at race day shoe. I'd say one of the last brands. I mean, they're still like... But I think like the last major running brand. Oh, you're calling Ultra major. They're owned by VF Core. They're major. All right, They cool. got that money. You have been knighted <laughs> by Robbie over here. You're welcome. <laughs> and yeah, you like this shoe a lot, you said. I do like that shoe. I like it for what it is and for what it does. So obviously I've got a slimmer foot. This is that slim fit. You're also gonna see that in the Vanish Tempo. Yeah. Uh, which I think is their best fit. I think I like this shoe because it's the farthest thing from an Ultra that could be an Ultra. Yeah, it's... Like it's got a really severe toe spring. They call it balanced, but I don't really... The feel of this is not a zero drop shoe. Yeah, and they kind of do that with a rocker and some interesting geometries and takes yeah. on zero drop. Like, where is it zero drop? Maybe here and here? Mm -hmm. But like, it's a rockered shoe. Just depends where you measure it. Yeah, it does. It's semantic. So you're looking at a more narrow platform. So those people who want ultras because they're so generous in the foot shape, this isn't necessarily the shoe for you. You're gonna have to try it on because yeah, it fits I, my foot well and no ultra does. And I should say that ultra has moved into this space where they have their traditional shape. And then this is what they call their slim foot design. So like skinny jeans for your feet. Yeah, basically. But I'm a fan of the Husky, right? Yeah, but you also <laughs> wore skinny jeans quite a bit. I, and you, I couldn't wear Husky jeans, let's be honest. Yes. Onto the shoe, we have a lightweight, nice upper with a padded tongue, this little padding right here. Again, what you're gonna notice is like everything on the upper is beefed up compared to the race day shoe. Sure, yeah. And, but it, it was pretty breathable. Actually, I felt like it locked down really well. I it does. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice lockdown. I like this type of lacing system. The tongue is more cushioned than in the racer. The padding around the collar is more substantial. Mm -hmm. It fits really well. It's actually a very nice fitting shoe. And I don't know if I've ever said that about Ultra before these two shoes. Again, they did, they did a great job with it. I thought the lockdown was great. Everything there was nice. And then we go into the midsole, which is their Ego Pro midsole. That's like their more, I guess, nitrogen infused type. You've seen EVA. it in shoes like Skechers Hyperburst. You've seen it in shoes like the Hyperion Tempo from uh, Brooks. So we're kind of getting used to this foam. It feels a little lighter, still has that pool noodle kind of sensation, but the cushioning in it is very nice. Yeah, and this is a 33 millimeter stack of foam, so not crazy high, but for tempo shoes, it's, you know, a little bit it's higher. A, it's this, enough cushioning, like you yeah. definitely feel well protected in here. Okay. Another big difference is this outsole. So this one wore down, you can see Robbie here, 
there's a lot of wear on this one from mm -hmm. just like, I think I had like 25, 30 miles in here. Yeah. And it was starting to wear down. So this was actually not rubber. It's, it's a rubberized foam. Mm -hmm. This one seems to be real rubber and it's holding up a lot better through my running. Yeah. And even in the heel, you can see the wear here versus the wear here. So it's holding up better for me. I don't know this. I would, I guess you could call it a tempo shoe cause it's lighter, but I, I, I think it's tempo for ultra. I don't know. I kind of thought that it did fit into the tempo range okay. pretty well for me. Like, right. I thought I could pick it up really nicely and just felt bouncy and responsive underfoot. I should I, give I, a I caveat think... that when I was getting my initial miles in it, it was also during grit. Mm. So I had a lot of miles on my legs. So maybe might've been a little beat yeah, up there. Yeah, you could maybe give that a little caveat. Yeah, I, I really did love the way that this ran. And in fact, I was pretty surprised by it. And I, I did really like it. The only thing issues I had was there's something about, like if you, I was just like testing out different ways of running. If you heel strike, I felt like there was a, like not much cushion there or something. It was weird. It was like, and I guess you can kind of see it taper off here on the back. Mm -hmm. So it might've been that where if you are a heel striker, you want to look out for that for sure. So yeah, there's a substantial sock liner in here. You can see it's pretty thick, Robbie. Oh yeah. Um, gotta be one of the thicker. So yeah. And then we didn't really talk about the way that underneath the shoe here, how the lattice work gives support in, in the interior here mm -hmm. to kind of give you that wrap. Overall, I really do like this shoe where I do feel like a swing and a miss is gonna happen is the price point. Yeah, it's $190 and let's be real, at 190 bucks, that's a crazy price for a tempo shoe. I mean, especially when we're talking, you can get plated shoes or carbon fiber rotted shoes, like rotted, it sounds like they're yeah, falling out. Yeah, you got out. rotted. <laughs> like His the, teeth are uh, rotted. Like the Takumi Sen 8 for $10 less or the you know, Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 for $20 less. It's a hard sell. If you can't get over zero drop, and this is what you want, this shoe feels great. And you have, to, you kind of just have to buy it. You have to be like, well, I guess I'm paying for this. Yeah, but, you gotta get that Ego Pro. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but no. that we're seeing other shoes with nitrogen infused midsoles that are much less expensive. So I know that the material itself mm -hmm. can't be that expensive. Yeah, that's the thing, because uh, this, again, this had the carbon plate, but this isn't plated at all. So there's no carbon TPU, anything. So I like to see this for a little bit, $30 cheaper or something. Yeah, I mean, other than the price, I think it's a really nice riding shoe, especially if you want the zero drop foot shape. I still kind of like when a shoe like points a little bit more, uh, just when I'm looking down, uh, this does not, look fast when I look toe down, it looks to be- It's a confidence thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I when I look it. down and it's, you got a like a Birkenstock shape, I think Birkenstock. Yeah. When I want to look down and see like race day shape, even if it's crunching my toes. Yeah. All right, Thomas, so what are we giving this shoe? Green light, red light, what? For fit, ride, cushioning, all that green. Okay, now go ahead. You tell me, Rabbit. All right. I want to caveat this green by saying for price point, which we usually don't do, I'm giving this thing a red. I think $109 is insane for this shoe. But whatever. Do I'm gonna I'm gonna say that maybe if you're like hang out with a lot of ultra people and you want to flex on them, be like, look, got the vanished tempo, then it's worth $190 <laughs> yeah, to get yeah. that extra flex at the and you have to be hanging out with ultra people because nobody will nobody believe else. this is a $190 shoe <laughs> no. outside of that. Uh, if you disagree, because I know as the ultra rabbit fans out there, you probably do. You are very culty, which mm -hmm. I respect. Yeah, you guys love foot shapes. Yeah, and zero drops. Leave it in the comments if you disagree. But what you should do no matter what is like and subscribe to this channel. Also check us out. I mean, Facebook, Instagram, our two podcasts you can check out the drop weekly fuel for the soul every other week sign up for the email list did all, i say strava already strava club nope yeah. all the links are in the description check it out I'll also put a link to pick up the shoe in the description i think the colorway available now in running warehouse is actually a white version it's kind of nice yeah uh -huh. and our email is really underrated because you get everything once a week delivered to you like here's all our reviews here's all our videos yeah. 
every week. You never have to check. You just go to the email. You're good. Boom. All right. Anything I else? I think that's it. Okay. Do it. The Ultra Vanish Trainer. Tempo. Tempo? Huh. Oh, we didn't say, let's vanish. Huh. You want to say it? We didn't say, let's vanish. Yeah. Va wait. Make me vanish, Brandon. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. It's, it, I'm, this is smoke going up. Yeah. All right. On to the next. <laughs>